So Nick Trujillo got his channel pulled from YouTube again. This is the third time. It's it's it, this is getting ridiculous. I mean, either let the guy on YouTube, but don't let him on YouTube. I mean, I've had we've had our back and forths, me and Nick, but that's YouTube. You know, it's it's nothing. I mean, I, I message him on Instagram and he messages me back. It's nothing. But this cancel culture thing, I can't stand this cancel culture thing. It drives me crazy. Like, if you don't like Nick Trujillo, don't watch his channel, right? I don't watch The View because I fucking hate The View. That doesn't mean I think they should all lose their jobs. But anyway, so apparently he had a channel back in 2020, and he actually revealed on his Instagram why his Second channel, Bodybuilding and BS, got pulled. And it says, I didn't say anything to get kicked off YouTube. It's called, my original channel from 2020 was banned for a copyright infringement. Once that happens, you cannot create a new channel on YouTube. They created this rule not long ago. This didn't happen because someone's feelings were hurt. Sorry to disappoint you. This is why I have a legal team handling it. So apparently, nobody like ratted him out. No, you know, that whole... Rumor of more plates, more dates, didn't rat him out. So uh, him and I, I had messaged him, you know, glad you're back, whatnot. <clears throat> and I wanted him to come, you know, if he could come on my platform. And we were talking and so on and so forth. And so he had gotten his channel back and it was it was called BS in Sports. I believe, I don't know the details, but somehow he partnered up with a company where he was going to be covering the bodybuilding portion and the they had other YouTubers covering other sports. I mean, this is from what I gather. I'm, I'm, I don't know the, all the details, but whatever. And he had it up for like a week. And I remember I was talking to Jason Ons about this on the last Muscle Talk we did. And he had five videos up and he had, already had almost 7,000 subscribers. He had 6,500 last time I, I looked. I have like 80 videos i have like not even 500 subscribers yet it's, it's unbelievable when it comes to youtube the guy's a master okay you might not like him you might not like his content but he knows what he's doing on youtube so today they pulled it this is friday uh may 26th and today they pulled his youtube channel again i mean so apparently when he got his youtube channel pulled in 2020 he started a new youtube channel bodybuilding and bs after he released Bodybuilding BS, YouTube had made a rule that if you get pulled from YouTube once, you cannot have a new YouTube account. But he had already established Bodybuilding and BS before YouTube made this law on YouTube. So this was prior to YouTube making this rule. So now he is, this is the third time he got pulled. So now he's getting lawyers and he's fighting it as he should. I don't believe anybody should lose their platform, especially if they're making good money and people enjoy his content. Now, let's face it. Okay. Let's not bullshit anybody. He was blowing up in a year. He had over 100,000 subscribers and growing. He was the fastest growing bodybuilding YouTube channel on YouTube, period. End of story. That's it. It's not even an argument. So if that many people like him and he really didn't say anything wrong to get pulled and this rule was established after the fact that he already put a second YouTube channel up, right, which makes sense to me. Because um, they would never let him in the first place do it in the first place. There was some speculation going on that, oh, maybe he had his and his mother's name or his father's name or his girlfriend's name or something like that. But apparently, no, apparently it was him. And this happens to be the actual story. You know, I spoke to him today and that's what he put on Instagram. <clears throat> I want him to come back to YouTube. He's good for bodybuilding. I might not like all his stuff. I don't like the personal stuff he gets into. Like, you know, with like, you know, the Hunter Labrada and his coach and this and that. I mean, that's personal business. You know, bodybuilding is bodybuilding, whatever. But it doesn't matter. Other people like it. Plenty of other people like it. And he was making a good living doing it. And if he didn't say anything to actually make anybody, quote unquote, rat him out, 
or tell YouTube that they were offended or anything that, that happened to be like that, then why pull his channel? If the rule was established after he established the second channel already, then why pull his channel? I don't know. I don't. This is all the detail I know. There might be more to the story. There might be another side to the story. I don't know, but this is all the detail I know. I hope the guy actually really gets his channel back, all right? Because nobody deserves to get their channel pulled, especially when you have that much of a following. You're a great content creator. You are actually making the bodybuilding industry interesting because let's face it. I mean, in between bodybuilding shows, it's pretty boring, right? You see somebody's off season. How many times can you talk about an off season steroid cycle and how much somebody could eat and blah, 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 blah. And, right. I mean, during the shows, like now we got the New York pro and the Cali pro this Saturday coming up and um, the Toronto pro after that. Now it's getting exciting. Right, because now we're seeing these guys hitting the stage and duking it out. The New York Pro is actually really exciting, and the Cali Pro is going to be exciting because Sergio Oliva Jr. is in town in California, and he's he made it happen. I don't know how he did it, but he made it happen, and good because I'm a huge Sergio Oliva Jr. fan. But anyway, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Nick Trigilli doesn't deserve to have his YouTube channel pulled. If his side of the story is the truth, which I suspect it is, then there was no reason to pull his channel. And I'm glad he's lawyering up and I'm glad he's fighting for it. Because, like, listen, there are left wing lunatic liberals on YouTube that I would never in a million years watch, but I would I don't think they should have their channel taken down. I just wouldn't watch them. All right. I mean, I just wouldn't. That's it. I just wouldn't watch them. I don't watch the view, like I said. And that goes for anybody. You know, there was a there was a movie called People versus Larry Flint. And if you haven't seen it, it's a great movie. It's with Woody Harrelson. And it's about Larry Flint had started Penthouse Magazine. And Penthouse Magazine was a very edgy magazine for the time. The only other magazine was Playboy. And that was more classy, if you will. But Penthouse was more raunchy. And he actually showed the female genitalia, which was never happened before, right? And he was taken to court because they wanted to ban his magazine. And he was on the stand and he said, and this is great. This is the perfect, perfect quote with something like this. If you don't like Hustler Magazine, don't read it. If you don't like Hustler Magazine, don't read it. And that's the same, the same way I feel about Nick's channel. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If he didn't break any rules to actually get kicked off YouTube, then give him his YouTube channel back because this is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, look, if somebody's out there threatening somebody, if somebody's out there, you know, trying to harm himself, or if somebody's doing like terrible things on YouTube, pull his channel. If somebody's saying awful things about an ethnicity or about a particular person, right? Pull the channel. I get it. Right? I get it. Get it. But if he's just talking bodybuilding gossip, who gives a shit? Let the guy do what he wants to do. This whole cancel culture world that we live in, it, it's gotten way out of hand. Like it really, it really is. You know, it's just gotten way out of hand. It's just, look, I was not a big fan of Nick Trigilli. I didn't like some of his stuff. You know, I'm not a, I'm not one of those big gossip people. If you come after me and you shit on me, I'll hit you back, right? Like he did to me and I did to him. And then I had somebody on my other channel come at me. I hit him back. And then this whole DMD thing, all right, I hit him back. But I don't delve deep into the gossip drama nonsense. It's not for me. But that's his shtick and that's his niche and it works. And people like it. Let him do it. It's ridiculous at this point. I don't know. I mean, I know this isn't going to help. And I'm. it's not even that I'm like a big fan of Nick and I'm like, you know, butthurt over it. It's just the fact that I don't agree with this whole cancel culture thing. If you didn't break any law, look, if you put a law into effect after the fact, right, then there was no reason to pull him. It's like, okay, <clears throat> if selling marijuana is legal and I sell marijuana in June of 2020, but you passed the law to sell to that selling marijuana is illegal 
in June of 2023. And then you arrest me because I sold it in June, in January of 2020. Then it doesn't make any sense. It's ridiculous. It didn't break any laws. So it's the same thing of what he's doing. If that's the case, if he established his channel, bodybuilding BS channel, well before the YouTube rule of once you get your YouTube channel pulled, you cannot have another YouTube channel. If his second channel was already established before that rule was put into play, then he should be fine. He should have never gotten his channel pulled. That's just my two cents on it, if that is the whole truth. Like I said, I only know his side of the story. I don't know the whole truth. It might be something else, but if that's the truth, that's the way I feel. And I just thought I should just share this because he only started his third channel like, I don't know what, two weeks ago, whatever it was. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Keep on watching. I'm going to be covering the um, Cali Pro tomorrow night. I'm going to be releasing it, obviously. It's going to be a good show. Sergio, Beef Stew, Tonio, a bunch of other great bodybuilders. All right. Until then, later, people. And remember, subscribe and like and tell all, tell your friends.